you want to be pros that like to run this little safety blitz. I'm going to show you that these money plays will destroy that because you're not sending an outside pressure to the way I'm going. So this is what it looks like when you want to run those meta blitzes, those a gap blitzes up the middle. Look at that. Everything's bagged up. You better go pick it up yourself because if not, that's a one play touchdown right on your head again. Give me number two. In this video, we got a nice money scheme for y'all out of the near close flex. This is going to be a little bit of a rollout cheese, but at the same time, just something different. You don't see a lot of people running near close flex, and this is actually very, very OP. The play we're going to be focusing on is going to be the play Texas, but we're also going to run the fullback dive, and we're also going to run the, in, the HB inside. And what I do recommend is actually putting a running back at the fullback position because sometimes we will put them on routes. And I prefer the speed, but you don't have to. You can keep a full back there. Uh, but again, we are going to be focusing on the play Texas, and then we're going to go from there. So let's jump into the practice field and show you how we set these plays up. All right, we're going to be starting off with the money play setup. If you're on the left hash, you want the two wide receivers on the left side. If you're on the right hash, you want to make sure that they're on the right side. What you're going to go ahead and do is motion over the outside wide receiver. You're going to put them on a comeback route and then streak X. I do like to keep RB on the Texas route. You're more than welcome to change this route, and you're more than welcome to put the Y fullback slash running back that we subbed in on whatever route you prefer with that. But the first time I run this, I definitely do like to block them to get, uh, you know, just get a little bit more protection. This will bomb all zone coverages and it will beat man coverage if you have the the right wide receiver, either a speed mismatch or somebody that has really good route running that's going to break on that corner. Um, he will create separation. We are going to be going to get to cover three, but the way we beat cover three, it, this will also beat cover four and cover two. And you're going to see why we call it a rollout cheese because you're going to call Hut. You're going to wait about a half a second and you're just going to sprint out. The faster the quarterback, the better this works. And if you can get your timing on the throws on the run, this is just completely OP. But you're going to see what I'm talking about right here. Um, um, if you can get greens like that when you're uh, with the quarterback, whoever you use, I don't le need Lamar to do that. I just have the most practice with them. Um, this will be just completely OP. All right, now we're going to go ahead and show you all a few of the corner route setups. What I mean by that is that whole concept that I like to run street corner with some type of flat route. Since we're in Texas, we'll show you the one that we run out of Texas. What you're going to do is motion out the inside wide receiver, put them on a streak, put the fullback slash running back on a swing route. I like to keep the Texas route there. It is a very good check down. And if they're in man, uh, sometimes they're in man coverage, you can catch them off guard. And you can kind of do whatever you want with the tight end. I kind of like the route that he's on because he clear, clears out the middle and also another route that can beat man coverage. Um, but he, he, for the most part, he's there to clear out the middle for the Texas route. But y'all already know what we're going to look for. The high-low read between the corner route and the swing route coming from the running back slash fullback. If you want to make this work that much better, smart route, the corner route, make it go a little bit deeper. So that, uh, that flat on that side really has to decide, do I want to go 20 yards or do I want to go 5 yards? But let's go ahead and show y'all what this looks like. Again, we're going to be looking for the corner route once he makes his cut. The street clears out the deep blue, and then the we have a decision to make if we're going to go high or low between the corner and the uh, the swing route by the running back. Now, another one is going to be out of the play flank, uh, flank or drive. We're going to make this look like the money play because we are going to motion the outside wide receiver. So we're going to go ahead and motion them over. And basically the same thing. You're going to go ahead and put the fullback on the swing route. You're going to streak a so same concept. And now we're going to go ahead and leave the running back on the wheel route just in case it's man coverage. And then we got the check down with Zay Flowers coming across the uh middle of the field and this specific corner route that the tight end is on can destroy man coverage this is a uh whenever you see that corner route where he like kind of goes flat for a little bit and then up that one is way better than the regular corner route that we just ran to the left uh this one does a good job of breaking and beating man coverage um but let's go ahead and just show you what this looks like again we're going to look for a high low read and just a terrible throw by me but you see same concept either go high or go low depending on the flat on that side and then we also got that uh back side check down um from here let's go ahead and talk about the run plays so we have the full back dive and then we have the hb inside for the most part i'm going to favor the hb inside uh but let's just talk about the full back dive real quick sometimes i like to throw my opponent off um, and I'll motion my running back out because a lot of times that's who they think that's supposed to be running the ball. And if they give me that gap in the middle, I'll just take the, the fullback dive right up the middle. Um, is it always going to give you good results? Not so much. 
but it's something to just throw in the mix. Really, the run play is going to be the inside zone. And y'all already know I love to motion snap. So it's going to be one of those plays. What we're going to do um, is motion out because we're going to make it look like we're going to be running the money play. So we're going to motion out the outside wide receiver. Once he passes a tight end. Now, there's a specific way you can run this that a lot of times it turns into a one play touchdown is basically kicking it out all the way past the wide receiver. Is it always going to be there for you? No. But when it is, that's the times you get good plays like right here. If you kick it out and if you got like jukebox or something, you could turn it into a big play. Now there I forced it. Um, I could have easily kicked that to the inside and got really good yardage. Um, you'll know when you get that opportunity, like you'll see it open up. But if I have to, I can kick it this way. This is what makes it good over exaggerated on that juke but you see what i'm talking about it's one of those plays where you can kick it to the left or kick it all the way out to the right and if there's a gap somewhere in the middle you just take that gap up the middle but from here we're going to jump into some head-to-head -head gameplay and show y'all this being uh ran against real users game one we got the chiefs i want to say i played this guy before i kind of remember taylor made it um but i'm not too sure well we're gonna see what goes on right here what happens you got either one of these guys can run the money play honestly um i'm fine with that um let it let's get another running back at this fullback position though um oh yeah that's a nice combo right there make sure we have the money play subbed in our audibles texas we got the go ahead and put the inside zone those are going to be the main two plays honestly the fullback dive is just like it'll happen here or there we don't have time we might run the inside zone right here y'all might hear my kids in the background i apologize but uh, on daddy duties you got to do what you got to do um yeah we're, we're just gonna go ahead and audible to the inside zone and see if we can get a motion snap still yep i'll take it look at that gap look at that gap i'll take it so now next time we do the motion he might be ready for that the the inside zone but we're gonna go for the money play we're gonna go ahead and try to start this off right get y'all the money play downfield if this edge rusher doesn't come off, I think we are in the clear. Okay, he came off. Oh, but he, he went inside. We got it. Oh, yeah. I'll take that all day. Put some work in. I'll take that. So we're going to line down again. Now we're going to hit him with the corner setup. Let's see if we can get a corner setup right here to Chris Oliver. Um, Motion him out. This will be a perfect scheme if we get it. This will be a perfect scheme. We hit him with the, the run play. We hit him with the money play. Now we're going to hit him with the corner route. This will be a perfect scheme right here. I think we got a perfect scheme on our hands. Touchdowns. Let's go. That's how you keep the ball in your hands. So that's a perfect scheme right there. When everything works out and you go from one play to another play to another play and they all work to perfection. I love that. That was golden. All right, we got drive number one against the Texans. Now, I would say that I respect somebody that uses the Texans, but I can't say that anymore because the Texans are kind of nice. Got to run to the right. That's all right. We're playing that. Oh, oh, perfect spin move. It was so slow, but just a bad user tackle by me, and that's okay. We, we should have stopped that behind maybe like a yard or two. All right, all right. We look like It looks like we got somebody that likes to run the ball. Um... I used to say I respect people that use the Texans, but now they are kind of a valid team. So, I, you know, I can't say like, oh, you know, you're good if you can use the Texans and get some things done. It's a solid team. And then next year, they're about to just be completely OP. Um, okay, we look like we got somebody that is just spamming this stretch. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies for the cough. Your boy's a little under the weather. Look at the user tackles, though. You got to learn how to use a tackle like that. That's LB with Heat Seeker. All day. Okay, now we're going to a, a little meta. Take that. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Good plays. Good. Oh my God, my user is dirty. My user is insane. It, it is. It's next level. I gotta give it to myself. A little pat on the back. All right. So normally, what happens is when I beat somebody the first time with the money play, and they're in a specific defense, they like to switch to another defense. I think we beat him when he was in a cover two. He might have switched to a cover four now, um, and that is what happens a lot. But then they have to find out the hard way that this actually bombs multiple defenses, and we end up getting two easy touchdowns. But let's see what happens right here. We might be able to get it. He's actually using it, but I don't think he's fast enough because I think that's a linebacker, and I think that's another touchdown with one play let's go last time he ran this he had a couple of people open i don't think he just i don't think he's seen it uh okay we went for the run this time 
Oh, good blocks. That guy just completely took away. Oh, I stopped running. I thought he was tackled. Come on, Abraham. Come on. Come on, Abraham. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, that is just a football play by a football player. You love to see it. Hey, GG's to Singletary. And he's low-key. He's a beast. When, I use him on a, when I'm using the Texans and I use him, he's slow as hell. But Med Man breaks tackles like crazy and can juke. All right, y'all seen us hit the inside zone. Y'all seen us hit the other corner route set up out of the Texas. Let's show y'all the flanker play now. Um, this one, you do set up like the money play. So we're going to motion over the wide receiver, put him on a streak. Now, if that cornerback stays in like that, Oliver's got some speed to him. We will just toss this up to Oliver if he doesn't go play that, which we are. We're going to toss it up. I don't think that cornerback's got the speed to keep up with Oliver. I don't think he does, and he doesn't. And those are just little things. If they're going to leave their cornerback in like that because they're too afraid to move him, take advantage of it. If you know you got the speed, throw that ball up. Get yourself a touchdown. All right, we're back on defense. Looks like he's going back to his little bread and butter. He's been loving this formation. Um, but we're going to stay consistent. We're going to stay in our formation. We, we can. I'm, I'm very uh, comfortable with trying to stop the run out of the dime 1-4. I haven't struggled um, even against teams with like the top running backs like Christian McCaffrey um people trying to run on me with the Colts uh and I, I stay in the dime one four and the the more you stay in it the better you're gonna get with shooting gaps understanding um you know like where your defense is gonna play things like that and that's how you're gonna get better at stopping the run just understanding the game of Madden oh, I'm just dirty with it I'm just dirty with it you see how I I played his tight end and then I broke on that route like I made him think I was gonna guard the tight end and there you go game one in the books but then we break on the route because we've seen it crossing. That is just the beauty of usering. All right, we got game number two going against the Chiefs. Uh, got a little bunch set up right here. Let's see what we got going on on defense. As you can see, we do have Demario Davis on the D-line. You can put middle linebackers there. We'll double post action. Why are you not further out? You're playing. I know That's the downfall of not guessing pass. Uh, we're going to run some high-risk, high-reward type of defense. We're going to send the blitz. And we're going to see how he reacts to it. I highly doubt he's going to run um, screen pass. But we are going to guard it ourselves. See what happens right here. Um, we're sending that heat. Guess pass. Come on. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take he actually has been sending the um, that safety blitz uh, where you... Get that A-gap pressure, but we're going to try to get the money play going on him. We are going to ID that guy in the A-gap real quick, though. Yeah, you see how he... Oh, the D-tackle got in, but he's going to be too slow. We got it. Let's go. That blue pass on the run? That blue pass on the run? Let's go. I like it. Without a running quarterback. Carr got a little bit of feet on him. I'm not going to lie. He can move. He got a little bit of mobility, but not considered a running quarterback. All right, I think he's going to stay in this uh, safety blitz and try to keep getting that A-gap pressure. And this is for you. You want to be pros that like to run this little safety blitz. I'm going to show you that these money plays will destroy that because you're not sending an outside pressure to the way I'm going. So this is what it looks like when you want to run those meta blitzes, those A-gap blitzes up the middle. Look at that. Everything's bagged up. You better go pick it up yourself because if not, that's a one-play touchdown right on your head again. Give me number two. My initial movement is to watch the tight end to see if he comes to the inside. That's my pickup right there. Drop back in. Everything's bagged up. Look at that defense. That's a box. That's a box. Oh, my Lord. I'm glad he dropped that. I was about to say, that should have been a pick right there. A hundred times over. Yeah, he's running a bunch of, like, uh, metal offensive plays. Like, that's one right there, the mesh flat spot. Gonna shift the defense around with you. We're gonna shift the defense around with you. The reason I'm using Matthews is because there is that famous little toss out of this formation um that he could run we're there we're there don't throw that we're there too don't throw that swat it oh my god what is, this guy is just dumbing out he's not picking the ball he's not swatting it i was hitting the button to swat third and ten we're gonna blitz this man we're gonna send the blitz we're already set up by man we're gonna send the house see how he reacts to it running back is on the perfect side for me to run this let's see what he does see what he does that's fine that's fine with me we're sending pressure first read for me is gonna be the running back which he is going out for a route. He's bagged up. Let's go. No, he threw it. Why are you out of everybody on your team? You put it. Okay, Rice is just different. Rice is just different. All right, he's 16 yards away, so we are going to drop this down to 20. 
Um, we got to adjust to where he's at on the field. I'm okay with that. Let's run the other setup. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I like this. I'm okay with this. We got our little uh, curl hook right there. Or the hook curl. We're there. We're there. Don't throw that. Don't throw that. That's the perfect zone drop. I'm trying to tell y'all. This cover four hybrid is just like that. And let's just get out of bounds and give y'all some more offense and see if he quits. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to run this cover for a hybrid. Perfect zone drop. All right, we got into the red zone with another bunny play that I don't think we're going to show y'all in this gameplay because we're going to save it for the video. Um, but we're going to show you how you can run the double out concept that I like to run with almost any formation. This is just another type of setup right here. Um, so double zig route, slant route, and then on the opposite side, you can kind of run whatever route combo you want to. First read is going to be the outside zig route. Second read is going to be the inside zig route. We got the outside zig route, it looks like. Um, but not far enough. We gained it four yards. We're going to run it again. We're going to run it back. We're going to run it back. No reason not to. Let's go ahead and run it to the uh, wide side of the field, though. So let's go ahead and run something like this. This time, we're going to be looking for Tyson Hill right here. We're going to look for Tyson Hill. Double out route. Um, we might even hit the running back right here. But... That is definitely going to be the go-to. Let's motion the running back over. I like that route with them, but we're going to keep it default. Yeah, we got Tyson Hill right there. You see how he had to commit? He he, he didn't know what to do. He seen the slant coming. He seen the zig route. Made him make a choice. The double out always works for me in the red zone, especially about five yards away from the touchdown. If you don't know about the double out, get to know it. It's going to help you out when you're in that area. All right, now it's time to talk about the depth chart. Nothing too crazy on offense, but the wide receivers. Obviously, you're going to probably play Chris Oliver, but you need to make sure you're playing Rashad, 95 speed. There's no reason to waste that speed in Madden. You know, speed is king. And then uh, Michael Thomas does get some play time for sp specific plays. If I need somebody to uh, catch in traffic, I'm going to go ahead and put him there. But for the most part, it's going to be these two guys. Tight end, make sure you do put in Tyson Hill. You can't beat 90 speed at tight end. There's definitely some things you can do when having a fast tight end like that. Nothing crazy with the O-line. I do want to talk about Demario Davis. Uh, he doesn't play where you think he is. I don't have him at linebacker, and I don't have him at sub linebacker. He honestly, he plays the D-line for me, and that's the beauty of Dime 1-4. Um, I could put my middle linebacker at defensive end, and sometimes I'll put him on a quarterback spy. And a lot of times he does good things there for me when he's when he's running quarterback spies. And the fact that he has um, the ability out of my way, like let's say he's on the edge and you have a tight end blocking on the edge. He's going to break free because of that ability. Um, he'll get to the quarterback really quick, even though he's not a speed rusher or, or I mean, an edge rusher or anything like that. Um, so he does get play time, just not where you think. These are going to be my DBs. These are going to be my cornerbacks. These are my go-to right here for one and two. Six foot one, six foot one, 90 speed, 91 speed. Perfect to get the job done to play the zones I need them to play. Now, Jonathan Abraham was a toss-up for me. He was either going to be a sub linebacker or he was going to play um, the slot cornerback for me to play the purple zones. Um, what made me make that decision is the 81 change of direction. Not that great. But he's perfect for the slot cornerback to play that purple zone and help in the run. Same thing with Marcus. Just another safety to play the purple zone and help out in the run. This is where it gets important. We got Lattimore. Main reason he's playing safety, deep zone KO. That's a must. Even if they catch it in his area, he can knock it out. And he's got 92 speed and 91 change of direction. Very good ball hawk for me. Um, Taylor, same thing. Six foot one, 94 speed, 94 uh, acceleration. Can ball hawk with that all day. I'm not looking at 80, uh, 64 overall. That doesn't matter to me. Let's jump into sub linebackers. Uh, we, you got to go with Matthews, man. I mean, I know he's short, but that's not even what we're looking at. Uh, 89 change of direction. I can deal with that. 89 speed. He's still a ball hawk. He's just a straight baller. And then Lonnie Johnson. This used to be one of my favorite users from the Raiders. Uh, six foot two, 90 speed. And this is why he got the sub linebacker position over Jonathan Abraham. 88 change of direction. 92 acceleration um that is a must for me for my users again make sure you start your slots at the slot receiver or at the slot cornerback because if not somebody else might be playing it uh so don't just put them at three and four in the cornerback make sure you actually sub them in at the slot cornerback position um but that's basically going to be it for the depth chart that's it for this video